everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Danica and I'm coming to you today with a brand new Dollar Tree haul. I hope you're all going to enjoy it. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this one of Dollar Tree hauls, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I am ready to get started. I hope you are too. Prada's here. She's ready. Right, Prada? Yeah. <laughs> So this Dollar Tree haul is a bit more random. I, I try to keep things a little bit themed, but once in a while I have too many items that belong to so many categories that I just figure I'll throw in a random Dollar Tree haul once in a while. And I think those are fun anyhow. So on my way out, I noticed this bag and I thought it was very cute. The true original. So it's got all of the Mickey Mouse images here. I thought it was really sweet and I plan on using it when I go to Dollar Tree so I'm not always getting new plastic bags that I'm just throwing out once I get home. Now I don't know if you know this but when you walk into Dollar Tree usually there's a cart there with clearance items. So there are items that are still good but they've been marked down they just need to make room. Um, I found these little snack bags. Um, so they are Yum Yum Viva Potato, Tomato and Spinach Vegetable Chips. Um, so they were 50 cents in this basket. There were two different flavors. So I bought a few of those. Now when I walked into the grocery aisle of the Dollarama. They still had these in the grocery aisle for $1.25. So it just, they needed to make some room. Um, so I am, I teach, I'm a teacher and I do teach uh, grade four at a French school, but in grade four here in Ontario, we start learning, we start teaching English. And so you always have a range of students who are already fluent in English, um, probably have one parent, possibly even two parents who are English at home. They've been reading English, um, you know, practicing some English writing maybe with their parents. And then you have some students whose parents are both French or who only speak French at home. And so it, it's a very, very wide range. So I did pick up some sight word activities. So these are for grades K to one, but I think some of them will be, so these are just printable. You just photocopy the reproductibles um, activity sheets. So there, there are 38 unique designs. And I also got the grades two to three pages. So I'll open one up so we can have a look at what these look like. So it's a notepad like this one here. And then each page has words. So this one is a little bit, has a you know, a bit more difficult words and the other ones are the more basic words. So better trace and write the words, say it out loud. This soup, there's an example, this soup tastes better than that soup. Complete this sentence by writing the word in the blank and write a sentence using the word better. And then there's a little extra activity here. Amanda thought the first movie was better than the second, but she thought both of them were funny. So it's explaining to you, it's a paragraph using both words. So I thought that was pretty fun. So I think I'll be able to use that with a few of my students. I also got these little spelling books. So they have all kinds of little spelling activities, um, some spelling work, and they're nice and colorful. So that's fun. Um, for myself, so I mentioned yesterday in one of my videos that I like to do, um, not crosswords, but the word search and Sudoku. 
I also like to color. I do that a little bit less often, but these two coloring books I just thought were gorgeous. Love is in the air with the hot air balloons. And so they're, you know, more of an adult coloring book. Lots of detail. But nothing crazy, nothing that's going to take hours to finish. And this next one is coloring the 60s. So I thought that was really pretty too. Um, so I had seen that these hooks were out and I had, they were on my list and I've been waiting for them. It's like I wrote in one of my comments. So this Dollar Tree shopping is more of a scavenger hunt than anything else. These aren't things that I actually, some of them I need, don't get me wrong, but there's a few of the things and just like, will they come into my store? Will I be there in time to find them? And when I get to find something, I'm like, I'm super excited and I just can't wait to show you guys. So there were these hooks on the website. If you check the Dollar Tree website, it is not Canadian, but you still can see the items that will be coming out soon. So it's a fun way to keep track. So these hooks were on this website. There are six different styles. And in my mind, the measurements were written there, but I hadn't checked that. But in my mind, it was about this size with a little hook, you know. And I found them yesterday. Most of the different styles were there. I only got three. Look at these things. It's so cute. The little sloth, the fox. Aren't they the cutest? So I'm thinking of putting this one in my craft room. They have the little hook on top to hang them up and then a little hook. I mean, I don't think you could be hanging something crazy heavy on here, but still, you know, it's a nice pressed wood. And then this one I will add to my gift basket. I do have someone in mind. And then I think I'll put this one in my youngest daughter's bedroom. So I just thought those were great for the price. And they're nice and colorful. Dollar Tree also has these planner stickers. So, so if you're into planning or journaling, these are great. I have taken out a few stickers from probably each package here because I bought them this week and needed to start using them right away. So this first package is just really cute. It has, you can see, you can get a better idea of what's in there. This package here is adorable. It's got unicorns and catacorns because those are a thing now. And they've got little planning stickers and these ones here I thought were amazing. They're that iridescent. Oh, I know it's very bright. There we go. It's not amazing. And this one here, it's got little dogs and coffee. Look at the little coffee cups here. Juice maybe. The cameras. The little cameras. They're super cute. And there is a page in there with llamas. So of course there, there are llamas. There are llamas pretty much everywhere right now. If you're looking for llamas, cats turned into unicorns, um, sloths, this is your year. I also in the craft section picked up a black canvas. So, I mean, white canvases are easy to find, but this one was sort of hanging out alone. Now they've been restocked. So there are quite a few of them. Not sure what I would do with this, but I feel like this could be really interesting. Let me know what you would do with a black canvas. My youngest wears dresses a lot. So I thought I would try a little spray starch. Um, I think, well, my mom, my mom sews most of her dresses. And she had mentioned spray starch, so I thought, I'll give that a shot, Mom. Mom knows best. So 
So these next two items are candles. I just thought they were beautiful. I love the label on them, kind of this celestial. So this one is Seasonal Solstice Abundance Soy Blend Scented Candle. It's kind of perfumey. I mean, I sort of smelled them in the store, but I had my mask, so it's a nice smell. Um, it doesn't seem to really say what the smell is, but it was beautiful. And this one here is more of a pink, like a rose. It's got this beautiful butterfly. I'm sorry I can't make things focus. And it says lovers rose water. Oh, rose water. So this one must say I'm not sure. Oh, rose water is amazing. <gasps> oh, I wish you could smell this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there were more of this one, but, and I don't know if it's going to smell this good when I burn it, but oh, it smells amazing. I also got, so these are pretty new at Dollar Tree. They're the little candle snuffer. So they have black, silver, copper, and gold. Um, I thought black was kind of more my style. I really loved the way that looked gold they were all really nice um these i was pretty excited about so they are led string lights but with the little leaves sort of like a a garland built into it so they are really cute and so there's all the little lights strung through this garland it is It's a secret how long it is. They, they don't tell us. So I'm going to say it's about five feet. So that was pretty cute. So I bought two of those. They were in the craft, like where the floral stuff is. And I found these, these books I have never seen before. So they were in the book section of my Dollar Tree. So it's, this gift book features a unique collection of quotes to share with friends and family for any occasion. So this one on the outside says, do more of what makes you happy. Which has sort of been my, my mantra for the past few years. You know, it's just important to find what makes you happy, find your joy, and just, just stick with that. So it comes with a, an envelope. So I guess if you wanted to ship out the book, you could just slide it into this envelope. It does have a place to write the address and a return address. And then this is what it looks like here. Um, so it has all little sayings on the inside. It's time to start living the life you've imagined. Believe you can and you're halfway there. So really cute. Just a little inspirational book. So I thought that was sweet. And the last thing I want to share with you, Dollar Tree, often. I've seen this in videos and I've never seen them at my store since I've been paying attention. Okay, so maybe they've been there before when I wasn't noticing as much. But they are handmade cards for different occasions. So this first one, so the Easter ones are out. So it's a special stand that has only the handmade cards. So this first one, Happy Easter. So there's a bunch of little eggs. And I don't know if you can see, but a few of them are popped out. And so it's really cute. Wishing you joy at Easter time. And a nice little envelope that coordinates with it. This next one, Easter Wishes. So the little bunny has a bow and these flowers are also popped out and they have some glitter on them. Happy thoughts and wishes, especially for you at Easter. So with the 
envelope again. Um, I have a pretty good idea who I'll be sending these ones to. And this one here I just loved. It is in a little mason jar, a little bouquet, with the twine and a little tag that says, Have, oh, hello, spring. Flowers begin to bloom, spring is in the air, birds are singing louder. It's time for us to celebrate because Easter time is here. So I thought that was really sweet. So that's it for today. That was the Dollar Tree haul. I think it was a pretty good one. I'm always super excited to find new things. Um, I am very happy you decided to watch my video today and I look forward to hearing from you. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day and make sure to do what you can to find your joy. Take care.